Hi everybody, I'm going to pick up where I left off in the last video. So at this point in time, I have the scatter block created. I've got it titled Volume versus Mass. I have the axes labeled Mass and Volume. And again, you'll notice that the volume is the X coordinate and the mass is the Y coordinate. So now what do we do with this? We need to add a trend line. We want it to display both the equation and the R squared value. And we're going to set the Y intercept to 0, 0 because that's what it asks us to do in Part C of this activity. So we're going to go through the way that I do this is I just right click, excuse me, left click on the data first. I'm going to right click. I'm going to add a trend line. It's going to pop up with all sorts of options on the left as to what kind of trend line. I think linear is the best fit here. We are going to go ahead and display the equation on this chart. So notice right now it's Y equals MX plus B format. We're also going to display R squared. 0.983 tells us that 98.3% fit. So 98.3, what in the world? Get rid of that, sorry. 98.3% uh, of the variability in Y is due to the change in X. So that's a pretty good fit, 0.93 is. Now, things we're going to do additionally, we're going to set the intercept to be zero. When that happens, notice that the equation just changed. Now it is Y equals MX. There is no B value because B, B is zero. So there's no reason to say plus zero. What we're doing is we're saying this trend line, we've just redirected and it's hard to tell. We've redirected it. If it comes straight down here, it would hit zero, zero because zero volume would equate to zero mass. That makes sense logically. Now, if I want this line to extend all the way backwards here, what I want to do is figure out how far backwards I want to forecast. You'll notice that the smallest volume here is 27.4. So I'm going to use that as I'm moving forward. I'm going to come over here. Notice I clicked on the line again to bring those options back up. I'm going to forecast backwards by 27.4 units. And what that's going to do is going to take that line and it's going to shoot it backwards and say, here's where it would hit. And notice it hits zero, zero. So that's the creation of the scatter plot. You have now all of this stuff done, a scatter plot that uses mass and volume. We have indicated units. We've added a chart with axes titles. We added a trend line with an equation and an R squared value. And we set the Y intercept to be zero, zero. So hopefully that helps out. The only thing I really haven't done for you is this. Um, and I'm going to leave that up to you to figure out what the formula is to get the mass divided by the volume for each of these examples. Hopefully that helps. If you need any help, Ask, please.